get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met. Now there's a face I've seen before. Farve, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Alf Danyal. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Shuffleman! What's your backs? Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. and we'll watch your back. Are you wounded? If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! old friend. Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Farrowid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Eivor and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Farovit, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! 
The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrok, so he says. What do you make of him? What I think doesn't matter. I'm interested in what his men think of him. Is he honest, trustworthy, loyal? Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. and start digging. Lady Moira, my wife grows ill. I will attend we crush them in soon, spring. No sooner. But that Hartin is the plan. Now. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... Is when I say we strike. Aftar's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute. Eivor Wolfkist, your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishier could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the carls and chills of Yorick. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts, in spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felt them, Haftenjarn, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Gwedjarn. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Ava? A fine piece of work. Fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, fill yourself with ale, then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones.
from envy as he is. Ah, Eivor. Come, let me show you our wonder. Conquered this, he and I. Together! You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sigurd Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravid, he seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this from a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man, even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. You bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you are, barking again. Faravid! Ah, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. 
Afton and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, Crow. Lend me a knife, Fadavid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Fadavid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. Nah. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halfdan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Fadavid. I am here to fight Picts. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some Picts! Yeah! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Donacastre. More mead, fewer Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away.
buried in good and godly places. I should be home filling my belly. Not mucking about on the wrong side of the world. <laughs> Picts spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Dead! Run! Stop them before they reach Stenway! They spotted us! Run forward! The Faster! Faster! South of the wall. Don't like. Oh! Well, the the Picts you. don't raid often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. I'll finish you! Why would the Picts make war in winter? They must have a reason, something to gain. Now, to hunt down the Beck Chief.
You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there! Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor! Just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The Picts are at Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That Stark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the Picts later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Don't make me say it twice. Crack the wine and drink with me. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? Who is she? She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter set. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk, but I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse, but if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. All right, we fight. I swear by Sif's blade, I'll say nothing to Hafton. Good! Good. Victory is ours. I must return to Danacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Walds. Slow sips, Hafton. It helps the... Drink the rest... Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Faravid asked me to deliver this.
Is he taunting me? Farragut poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guys, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use! Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Faravid asks for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up, one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Faravid has planned an attack on the Picts at Magnus. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again, at a place called the Walls. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen. Unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. And... <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Bjorkdon! We're going for a walk down to the temple. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Hafton. Come on out of there, you! What is this ruckus? Stand back, Dane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Come on out of there, you heathen lover! Away from my house, Mithalay! You can't do it forever! Now, leave us all alone. Look that way again. It's the last thing you see, Moira. You're safe to go. Be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs. Nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Who is out there? <laughs> Hafton, good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there were traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor, search the perches and lookouts here. We could be spying from above. Oh. Go, my eye. Speak to us! Where are you?
clinging to life. I should carry him down. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Hey, Anton, may Trakis attack us. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! with their blood! Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Hmm. Here, a hidden entrance. They might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of Winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. There'll be more rooms beyond. I've done it. We must hurry. Need to be careful. Hey! Come here! Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. By plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day, decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. She also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me! Shh! Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Wolf kissed and half done. Well met. Come. 
Fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravi gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... That was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty yard! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you dis- Return my spoils to Donacasta, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> Forgive me, I... I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Bicharinga. Press him, Eivor, as hard as you can. Never let up, and bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Traitors, thieves. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Words are poisoned. 